Hey guys, welcome back. So let's start lab two, exercise one. So this is the lab scenario, and lab one is about we need to go and create as your resources. So we will be creating a storage account and a function app. Okay. So let's go to the. If you guys do not have the URL, just get it from the video description. And today we are here, module two, lab implement task processing logic by using Azure functions. Okay. Now, okay, let's start. Exercise one: create Azure resources. Task one: open the Azure portal. So just log in your Azure portal. I just need to put my password. Sign in. Okay, so this is the Azure portal. We are good here, right? So task one is just to open the Azure portal. You just need to sign into your cloud. Task two is create an Azure storage account. Okay, so we need to go to all services and then from the storage account and then create on add. Let's go to the basics tab. Okay, so just follow me here. All resource uh, here. All services, all services, yeah. The storage account, click on plus, and here is basics tag. Okay, okay, what is next? Next is select the basics tab. Okay, we are there. Leave the subscription as it is in the resource group, new resource group, and let's call it serverless. Okay, then okay, storage account name, function, storage, and then your name. Location East US performance standard account kind, kind storage v2 general purpose the application LRS hot okay just follow me here so resource group we need to create one we need to call it serverless okay account name it should be function if you can see s t o r and then your name so I'll give as okay as your location East US standard v2 LRS I have to choose from here and access tier is hot. Next, networking as it is, data production will leave as it is, advanced again as it is, tags as it is. Now, here review and create. So, review is one of the very important tab where you go and review all the options which you have opted for. And now, let's go and create. So, here resource group is serverless and storage account name is functions storage okay so we are good create so now here you can see this deployment in progress your deployment is underway now what is next it says create uh, click on create now we need to create a function app okay so just wait for storage account to be ready and then we'll go and create a function app So here you can see your deployment is complete. So basically we have our storage account ready. Okay. If you want to verify, you can simply go here and then here you will see. Oh, sorry. You have to go to resource group and then server list. And then here you will see your storage account. It's here. Function, S-T-O-R and then your name. Okay. Now next thing is to create a function app. Perfect. So what we will do here? In the Azure portal navigation, select create a resource marketplace look for function and then on the everything search select function app okay so we need to look for the function app so what okay so we'll look for function app so i'll simply type here function app so here you can see it function app click on this one okay let's go back and then from there create function app go to the basic step okay let's go and create one click on add so here is basic step okay now in the basic step here let's go basics leave the subscription as it is resource group go and choose serverless function app name it should be like function logic and then you give your name publish select code runtime stake dot net version 3.1 location east us perfect so just follow me here resource group subscription we need to leave as is resource group i'll go and pick one which is serverless there is only one resource group 
function name is like function logic and then your name so i'll just give okay as your then code runtime stake we need to go dot net core version 3.1 location i'll go and pick east us perfect let's go to hosting okay let's go here in the hosting in the storage account drop down list select your storage account which is created function as tor your name operating system select windows plan type you go and choose consumption plan review and create okay so here in the storage account we need to go and create our storage account that we created earlier function stor and then your name operating system windows and plan consumption plan okay perfect let's go and click on monitoring so it just there is nothing about the monitoring tab let's go tags and here is review so here you can review your options whatever you have opted so for example resource group is server as for us function app name is function logic and then ok is your here is my storage account my plan is consumption serverless plan windows os i'll simply click on create okay so here you can see your deployment is in progress is underway now let's go back okay so think yeah we'll just wait for this to happen and that's it for this exercise so your deployment is underway okay okay so here you can see your deployment is complete let me just close everything so if i'll go back here so that's it as part of access one we are supposed to create a storage account and a function app so if i'll go here my resource group serverless here i'll see so this is a resource group and there is one storage account function sorry this is here and here is our function app okay so bye i'll catch you in the exercise 2